Hello everyone, Terry Cruz here, and this is NHL 24 on EA Sports. Hi everybody, welcome back to another NHL Rival Week on EA Sports. This next matchup, as we are about to see this, another USA vs. the Canadian team, as the Montreal Canadiens are facing against the Boston Bruins. This is one of the biggest rivalries that we are going to have the greatest ones in sports. We tie up Bruins here at forward from Bob Sweeney, who played for the Bruins between 1986-87 and 1991-92. Once called it among the, the top three rivalries, rivalries in all of sports. Right up there with the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. The two teams have played each other more times in both regular season play and the Stanley Cup playoffs combined than any other two teams in the NHL history. But as you may already know, they have a lot of games to make the percentage out of them. Back in 2014 second round, as the Canadians won over the Bruins 4-3. Now, throughout the conclusion of the 2020-21 season, the two teams have played each other a total of 927 times, with Canadians winning 469 games. The Bruins winning of 348 and 103 ties. 11 games between the two teams have ended in the shutouts. In the playoffs, the two teams have met in a 34 series for a total of 177 games. The most in NHL history. And these two teams also got to face each other nine times in Game 7s, more than any other pair of opponents in NHL history. We're about to find things out of how well they're going to do, and this one will be anybody that will have it down for the next two parts of the game. For the Canadians goaltender we have across here is Sam Mountainbolt, Jake Allen, and Gaden Primula. But Jake Allen will be the starting goaltender for the Montreal Canadiens. And the other side right now for the Boston Bruins, we have it all and we can all bring out for our Bruins goaltender in between of Swayman and Olmark. So Linus Olmark will be the starting goaltender for the Boston Bruins. And a starting lineup so being there as followed, we have Nick Suzuki and Cole Caulfield. On the other side is David Pashevax, Charlie McAvoy, and Brad Marchand. Let's head on down to TD Guard Arena. Standing by is, of course you always know it, it's all what they got to call for. The name of it is Test 2. And the other side of it right now will be all calling down for Boomer and for Center Ice will be all determined. It will be Wood Spooning. I'll be here for the post-game show after this game is over. Let's take a look and find out in between the Canadians and Bruins. Let's get started. Enjoy the game, folks. Hey, everybody. Test 2 Pierre, and we are at TD Garden. Get ready as this one turns to be a wild one of the Canadians and the Boston Bruins. It's about that time here at, in Boston as we're about to take the puck drop. And we're off to start. Let's get the show on a roll. The starting group is right now. We have us Madison and now Suzuki will have it. Suzuki, oh, the bash down puts up for the Boston Bruins at the start night. You know, I never loved that because the Nick Suzuki, he went been banked out. I never saw that coming, but this was a very tough one to take out of it. I never saw how that come out. Here's Newbook. He will have it over into the left wing, and now we'll find some more room. The offense picks up its strategy. Omar picks a save. This one will start their run with just under 19 minutes to play in the first period. Right now, let's have the call as Woods when he stands by. David Postonox is one of the biggest snipe on a uh, good setup. He can make that great interesting to take all of his pressure. The only takes right now for David Postonox is to keep on your eye on his prime. 
The setup angle is a tough one to figure and it may be tough to try to like stop them down. But for the course next to Suke, you might be looking for another change up if this one comes in by. I'll be watching those two in between of one or the other for the Canadian to the USA of America. That will be a tough one with David Pasternak and Suzuki. Now for the next one, as Brad Marchand has a no contest to take all of them. He can try to stake it with the ability if he can try to like keep it right in from a challenge. And his angle may be enough hard up for Brad Marchand to keep here. No contest, no founder. We'll find out what happens if Brad Marchand can try to take no contest to go in between the Canadians. Back to you. And last but not least is Lena Salmar. For Lena Salmar, he has it all of it. Great wants to take all of us. Light enough to take all of his improved initiatives. On this one with the, the, this reaction, it goes quickly. And this one will be shouted up here if he can try to like, keep that one in the way. This one's a hard one as Lena Salmar may be going for another one. As they have their team with the win in the, on EA Sports for NHL 23 to keep it going. I'll find out if they, he can do it again all alone. Back to you. As Frederick goes down, he will try to recover the puck. He finds Carlo, now find Van Myers. Van Myers with the shot. Allen with the big save. Towards the back, it's Lindholm. Lindholm's shot is blocked. He finds Carlo's shot. Rebound in there as Allen takes it away. Kaposic, going again to Monahan. Yolen right over to get it a rough wing. On a shot, it makes a big save. Yolen finds one out shot. Lee Mark and Allmark makes another big save. Just under 16 minutes remaining in the first period. Still no score in the game. We have Charlie McAvoy to call stick him up. This one may be a tough change, but he plays on defense. He might be choosing what he could do to go with this offense range if he could try to like, pull it back in the offensive slot. It might be tricky set for Charlie McAvoy, but let's hope he does have this defensive takedown to have that struggle. Back to you. How's your dance? How oh, well, it's a great glove save. Borak with the puck now finds Geller. Geller on the shot. It's blocked. In corner inbound. Trying to keep it out of here, and now back to McAvoy. Now he finds Marshan. Marshan finds again a posture knock to the backhand. Allen makes a save. 14.44 left to go in the first period with no score to game. Now they're ready to do another setup in the chain. Still a lot of time left in the period. With the win, he went down as it goes back to Aizaka. Now finds Geller. Marshan with the puck now finds McAvoy and now he has it over again to Zaka to Pasternak. He finds Marchand! Shot saved made by Allen. Trying to pick up more, more saving rebounds, but the face-off is coming up. Up to another face-off, ready to go. 14-13 left, no score to game. Here's Evans, he will have it over again to Isaiah. They got to Parasite. Mason fires it around the net. Now Fulbert will have that puck. Kicks it out of here and now find it over to good. To DeBrus. DeBrus right into the right wing. Tries to roll the pressure. Allen makes a big save. DeBrus tries it again. Now find Fulbert. And that one sent out of the net and up into the bleachers. For a very narrow face off coming up. Evans wins the faceoff. Kakovic lost the puck. It's a full pressure for the Boston Bruins. Mitchell shot. Bring it again. It's taken out. Pearson with the puck. Now into the Bruins territory. Good catch by Allmark. And this one will stop the play for 12.47 to go. You know, I never call for Allmark. He may be a tough player in that game. Regular season of the night, it may be uh, like, you know, like, Lena Salmark, he was really like impressed. But how this all turned out, I got no questions to say. It may be a great matchup. You can't really tell how much it is. You have to love it. Or if you don't, you just hate it. You don't want that. 
No, not at all. Save me by Omar. Friday we've been the puck with only 12 minutes going by in the first period. With a shot, and this one stopped again by Allen. Pakovich over again to Gould, and now over again to Caulfield. Montreal back in the offensive zone. Denied by the goaltender. Bruins back in position. That finds Cole shot. That's blocked. Nuka give it over again to Burn. Now again to Gould. He gets again to Suzuki. Now find Nuka. Barron outside. And that takes over with the puck steal by Frederick. Recovered again in the, in the corner. And that one takes it over. Suzuki will have the possession. The Canadians are back into the offense zone, picking up another look. Now back the other way. Trying to push it out. Without leaving offside, it will be Mavison regrouping the puck in the center zone. Here's new book. Makes a shot. And he just went out of here. And this one puts a stop by Elmar. Here's Carla with the puck. Gets off to Pasternak. Lost that puck. And it goes back again. Over now to Slavsikov. Slavkovsky lost that puck. This one gets pushed out of the way. Slavkovsky suddenly scores! I did not see that, but this one went back toward with the backhand shot, and he had that goal right away. Well, the goaltender made that reaction that quickly. It looks like he was looked. He looks like he looked at this pad, and that puck came in. You know that reaction? He just got off to a shocking start because it's Slavkovsky. He really just saw that one go in, and he know he got that great happy mo moment with that face. You know he's got that pretty good goal at that point. With the start run, here's Harris with the goal into the start motion run for Montreal Canadiens, a 1-0. Oh. This one goes stand by, and this one was another save by Elmar. Now Zaka will fire it out around the way. Harris with the puck, battling for a loose board of a chain. Lord it all, he went down. Bruce will check with the puck and now into the Bruins of Canadian territory. That's denied by Allen. Lakovsky lost that puck. And now Monahan lost that one and goes back the other way. Oh, he made that slam down. The brush find McAvoy. Here's McAvoy, he will have that own look. Karras with the puck. Tries to look over it again to Gala. Gala with that puck fighting Anderson. Lost that one. This one gives back the airway to McAvoy. McAvoy give again to Poitras. Poitras right into the right wing. With the pass, look open. Allen made the save. 7.05 left to remain in the first period. That's right now, the faceoff's coming up. Lots of time left in this period. Canadians have a great start. 1 0 lead. With the win, here's a fire shot. That one stopped. Goes to check again to Hennon. McAvoy shot. Another pass saved by Allen. Barron finding a stop on Anderson. Anderson right towards the left wing. With the backhand, Omar makes a save. That was a close call on that one. The range may be keeping on tough and going, but I don't think he may not be having it where he wants to stop that one. It's going to be a very tough one to take. But don't count on that. Here's Forbert. He will have that puck. Finding the other Frederick. Frederick on a shot. Saved by Allen. Frederick again to Mitchell. Mitchell trying to look it up. And a shot. Saved again by Allen. Van Meyer is going to full pressure. And he scores. They are tied up now. Frederick with his first goal against the Canadians. You make that clear and honest opinion of that one. After Van Myers, you have that stop and made. This one goes to the back of the net, and you make that good connection feed, you give out to Frederick fast. You know, the goaltender was really coming out to be a little bit of a disappointment to start things off. But it looks like it was going to be way out of here. But it seemed like he just got that one in there. There's a goal. Now you're going to change it over, and then they're going to feel like that they need to do something else about it to try to keep him out. 
Here's Coyle with the puck shot, stopped again by Alling. 5-3 left to go in the first period as for now Pesita with the puck. Oh, he made a slam down out of him. But this man puts another save by Omar. To rebound again, save by Omar. Coyle, back the air away with a 2 0 one opportunity. Saved by Allen. Here's Barron. He with 4.45 left to go in the first period and he will fire it out. Now he will have it over again to Former. Former not finding again, over to get to Vi Mays. Across the line to center, finding Coyle's shot. It went way off the wide, wide of the net and this one goes wide. Recovered by Vi Mays. Former. Trying to look for Gump and find Zaka. Recovers it. Right through the slot. Saved by Allen with another huge stop. Hashidak shot. That gets clogged up again with another shot blocked. And a shot. Saved by Allen. 3 13 left in the first period. Looks like they might need to do some a little change up before they get into it. You know, I'm not really like in comfortable position, but hey, just to turn out that way, babe, you may want to just do it on your own. Just keep trying and keep getting it better. Here's new book, you'll have that puck now find Caulfield on a shot. It's been blocked. Carlo right again to Lindholm, and now we will face over to Pashinax. Pashinax right towards the right wing. Now we'll have possession now find Carlo. Carla shot, another big save by the goaltender. Denying that shot as Kozlovich will have that puck in bound. He finds goal, now he gets to Caulfield. He loses the possession as Lindholm takes the puck. Spins around, finds again the Pastadox. Across the line and he goes back into Canadian territory. Now Caulfield will have that puck. Back in bound to Newbuck. Looks to Suzuki. Suzuki find Caulfield. Right toward the slot. Goal of the shot release. Saved again by Elmark. They really are being fantastic, man. And you know you can't just like take them out of it for sure. Pasha knocks it back in. Oh, Allen makes a save. We just passed the minute mark of the period. With 40 seconds remaining, it's still a tie game. Yolden fires a deep shot. Oh, two time save. Lindholm trying to put it back the airway. Now into the Canadians' territory. Shoots! Save again by the goaltender. Final seconds in the first period. Carlo, their team up ahead. Oh, it's blocked. And that ends the first period. One and one is the score. It's a great way to have the answer back. That's right now with the first goal goes for Frederick. We'll be right back with the second period after this. Welcome back to TD Garden as we're about to start the second period of the game. And we are ready. Face off is on and about to start the second period. Both teams tied up for one. Now I will stand over to Boomer as he will have the statistic run on his first period recap. Well, I must tell you now, they've really been going like for a lot of struggling perhaps. This was a really tough one that they are trying to take them out of here. For this ultimate range, this was really like a tough one that they are trying to keep them out. But not for everybody who is out there, just like trying to like keep the goaltenders out of here and then also try to stay inbound. They really are pushing their pressure on the board. They really are trying to get that one right away from it. But it's a great goal for the Canadians, but they finally have to come back in for the Canadians. That's a big spot and they are really calling for help. They've done a lot of it, and they're just going to have to keep on going if they can try to stop one. Two teams set, ready for the faceoff. Still a tie game, 1-1. One, one. McAvoy, Pachadox, oh, save me by Allen as two players come down. I never knew this was just going to happen like that. This is like a big takedown. Rebound stop again by Allen. Oh, he just got in great using a stick and a good setup to make the save. The win, here's Coyle, and Brezicic shot, 
Rebound stopped away by Allen. Kosovic with the puck and now with only 17.45 left to go in the second period. Try to cut it down. Saved by Olmark. And Gersenschek went down. Here's Frederick with the puck. Trying to give off the coil shot. Saved by Allen. 17-14 left to go in the second period. This will be still tied up. I never noticed what's going to kind of happen like that, but that's like a tumble takedown. No way you're going to let that happen again. Now for the win. He gives it again to Sapkowski. Sapkowski will fire it out. Boston back into the offensive zone with Lindholm. Lindholm trying to reach across to the other side of the net. Valley for the loose puck. Recovered. And there's a penalty that's been whistled on. And they're going to be putting up for Yonin for a slash call. You never notice what's going to happen like that because Yonin, that's a bad and ugly play. But this one turned out really bad. That slash, it's going to be very badly. Because that one takes it down, it's not easy. Power plays on for the Boston Bruins with just 16.32 left to go in the second period. They're back to get things noisy. Win for the Boston Bruins as Lindholm will fire it off. Marchand with the puck, find Ben Reyes with the shot, saved by Allen. Keeping the puck alive as Harris lost that one. Oh, and down, there's a little bit of a rumble takeover for the Canadians. They're not saying that this really is going to be a, like a battle takedown in between. But don't get them too uncomfortable to know how to do it. Shoots, oh, almost had a sure-handed goal, but Colmar, wow, he's like already making another huge save. Well, that takedown really quickly, and Zako was like feeling the pressure on him. That was too hard, but... Don't keep yourself caught and comfortable if you know how to do it. Canadians wins the face off as Harris tips it in and Omar on the stop. Catches the pad with the puck with only 15.43 left to go in the second period. Now they will do it again in the Bruins territory. Face off win for the Bruins. Goes down. Coil with the puck now find DeBrus. DeBrus in the middle. Shoots! Save me by Allen. DeBrus tried to roll it over to Coil that went a little late. And Allen will have to hold on to it with the puck with only 15-21 left to go. Now they're all set, ready for a face-off. Set up win for the Canadians. 45 seconds for the Bruins power play as McAvoy will try to recover it and now find Coyle. Deep it over to DeBrusk. Drop the run and Coyle. Allen makes a save. 15-02 remaining in a second period. Looks like they're trying to get a goal to try to break up the tie. Well, they actually absolutely do. I mean, I'm not going to tell because this one really is trying to like keep him out of the sight. But don't let him get away with that. Plugged up by Allen. Still a lot of time left in the period, but the power play is running down low. They need to do something else about it. Now for the win for the Canadians. Recovered by Portis. The cross by Prosser now shot. Saved by Allen. Puck clears out of the zone. Looks like he's ready to get out there, back on ice. And that will end the power play run for the Boston Bruins. And this one comes empty. No shot on goal here for a power play this time. But only a couple of them made that one, but they attempt to do that shot or the power play goal. Well, it's really that tough to say because you now know that Allen was getting a quick reaction to it. He really got a lot of enforcement to try to like regroup their team. But I never saw when Allen was doing that, he really had to like try to make a creation out of it. He has to do something else about it. That's a tough one, and you can't get away with it. DeBrusk lost that puck, and now Coyle has it. Try to give it back, it's Monahan. Recovers the puck. 
tries to go with the gap. The old man on the back end. Shy has been saved again. McAvoy with the puck. Looking to keep out of the range in sight. With the pass off, Yolanda takes the puck save. Going back the other way. Now find Yolanda. Yolanda shot. Saved by Omar. Monahan rebound. That one puts another save by Omar. 12.15 left to go. Monahan. Oh, great time stop for Arenas Omar. And there's a full presser on the Hawks. Well, you can't make them really take him out of there. you got to get it out of there. Now passing out, clears out of the puck zone in the Canadians. And this one goes shot wide. It goes on and Sayak with the block shot. Pizzetta with the puck. Now finally getting the Portress. And Saya with the puck. And Saka trying to push back. McAvoy. On his way back down to the Canadian side. Deep the pass to the brush shot. Saved again by Allen. Evans will have to regroup here with the puck in the neutral zone. Now in the attacking zone. Evans shot, saved. Pizzetta shot, and he lost that one as Pizzetta takes the goal. Oh my, I did not even notice that goal was going to put in there, but that changed everything. You're watching what Michael Pizzetta does that. Pizzetta really got that goal, and this one was like turned to be off the glove. But this one was tipped. You can see what happens right now, but when you get that shot, you lost that puck. He didn't get that glove in time, and this one just like lost it. Yikes. Baccio wins the face off with only 10, under 10.30 to go. And now Harris will have it. Saved by Almar. Now it's back again to Charlie McAvoy again to Frederick. We bet made it to the midway mark of the period. No penalty on Montreal. Here's McAvoy. Grizzle check. Shoots. This one turns over to Harris and now Anderson with the puck. Looks towards the right side. What will he do? Dollar shot saved by Allmark. Vorak with the puck. Try to stop him down. And Allmark will try to hold it from here with 9.19 to go in the second period. Looking for another face off the tape. Canadians on a break run, 2-1. Now for the win. Here's the shot, saved again by Allmark. Excited with the puck, now by Evan shot. That went way off the corner, right toward the ball. Anderson back here, rebound again! Fighting for the big one as Lindholm takes it over. This was a hard one and you cannot take out with the risk of it. Your, your feeling does not have the courtesy one to try to leave it out. This open gap, it's really tough to deny that run. It's courtesy to take, not all that happens. Marchand gives the pass to Zaka. He goes down and Gulli with the puck. Eight minutes remaining in the second period, looking for more room. Back to Mitchell. Kuchets now lost that puck. Pasternak recovers the puck. Boston back in the on the attack break. Zaka toward the left. It's saved out of here as another save by Allen. Zaka tried to like fight for it. And Pasternak shot. This one got cut up by the defender on Suzuki. He just tried to mess up on someone. Well, you're not going to have to take them all of it. But you, if you really wanted to take the puck back, you just gotta give him a clean please. Because this one really has to like stop. Settle here down with the puck. It's not very easy to like go for a little bit of open angle and then defend her on you. You just really need to stay out of the zone if you want to like take a hit. Shot has been off on the glass in front of a shot saved by Allen. Here they come in the neutral zone, now into the right side of the lane. Forward with the puck, now with the Boston Territory. Coyle try to reach out. Back to Montreal zone. Pass the first shot, and that second goal will not count, and this one stopped again by Allen. 5.37 left to go in the second period. Still trying to get a tie game. Need to look for more.
Wayne puts up for the Boston Bruins. Loses the puck range for the battle. And now back again to Yolen. Yolen play pass again to Mapleson. Backhand shot makes it around. He scores. What a great cut in for Mapleson. And they got their lead for extension run up by two. Well, you know that Mapleson really got that backhand. He want to make that tough one to go quick. From that pass, he went for backhand. Buck on string, keep it out of sight. You know what Michael Mapleson has done? He's really done going from sweeping from lane to lane in the territory, then really right into the front, into the slot. This one was really that tricky. I can't tell you how much this is, but when a goaltender reaction, he really never got there in time. He's got to do something else about it. Shoots again, Allmark with another save. We'll have to give it back to Allmark, and now we'll give off to Grzyk. Van Reyes with the puck. Give off to Frederick. Losing the puck, and right now Yolman will have it again. He gets to Yolman. Klukowski with after with the pass. Now McAvoy will give it over to Henry. Hainan over to get a put trust shot. Saved by Allen. Oh, that makes a great catch out of him. We are under four minutes remaining in a second period. Still looking enough to get another goal to try to go back down by one. With the win, here's Barron. Barron with the puck now into the right slot. Fires it around the net. Boston back into the transition as McAvoy gives to Gresson. Grzelik with the puck now looking for open space. Cannon shot has been lefted over again. Now finding Baron de Vorbach and Vanderson. Back to Gallier. Gallier right into the right wing. Trying to shoot again. Saved by Allen. Under three minutes remaining in the second period. Still a 3-1 game. Puck loses the possession. Portras trying to go with the breakaway chain. Oh, close call on the net. That stopped again by the goaltender. That one turned to be a quick timing release, man. I never seen what was going to happen if Aldor had saw that coming by Allen. That means he got a pretty tough spot when he was going to go for it over save. Lacko lost that puck and Nick Suzuki takes it over. New look with the puck possession. Suzuki lost that one here and it goes right back to McAvoy. Here's Beecher. Where's like Over again to McAvoy. Here's Locko. Locko on a shot. Saved the game by the goaltender. It's denied it. Valley for the loose puck of the chain. Recovered by Stan. Stern. Oh, he missed that one. Last minute in the second period. Looking to get down by one. Saved the game by Elmar. By Allen. Feature to win home. Here's Locko. Try to deflect it, but it's not in time already as this one hits up the skate. And this one goes back to Caulfield. He went wide. Carlo gives it again to Steen. Steen trying to battle for the loose puck. Carlo, get back to Steen. Steen to Lacko. To Beecher. Will he get it? And it's denied. That ends the second period. Two goals for the Canadians. We'll see what happens if the Bruins can make the comeback rally in the third. Be right back after this. We are back and we're about to start the third period. It is that time. With two goals for the Canadians, now they're ready to do this again for the last, one last time in the third. For that take, who do you think will have that possession here if there's going to be a goal in between those two? Well, I might have to go with the Canadians. They may be, like, stepping in bound, but it seems like the Boston Bruins may have a different switch on this one. They're trying to look for the comeback. They're looking for a score. They need to get this one there straight. I'm hoping there's another great chance if they can do another take. With a takedown run, it might be possible enough if they're looking for help. We'll find out what happens. But the shot saved by Allen. Baron over it again to Matheson, and now we'll have that puck over into the offensive side of the zone. 
Mavison spins around, unable to find an open look as McAvoy takes it back. In driving right toward a center shot, saved by Allen. And this goes back to Barron. Now swing to Sokowski. He's on his way down, looking to create some uh, motion, and a shot saved by Almar. McAvoy over again to Coyle. Coyle now finding again to Vamayas. Vamayas trying to look for some open spaces. Allen with the glove save. 17-11 to go in the third period, looking to get another goal to tie it up. Still a lot of time left in this period. 3-1 to score as Montreal lead by two. Wayne puts up for Boston. Saved again by Allen. Monahan kicks the puck over on the wall. And Kakovic with the puck. He finds again to Goyle and now over again to Zapkowski. Trying toward the range. That would stay out of here. Now here's McAvoy. Trying to keep the puck out of here. And McAvoy again to Ben Mages. Ben Mages with the puck. Shoots! Saved by Allen! 16.07 left in the third period. Still looking for another goal for the Canadians. And for the Bruins. With the win, here's, here's another one. As Grzechek gives to Frederick, shoot save again by Allen. Then I guess again to Frederick. Yolanda with the puck. Uses the puck and McAvoy give it again to Coyle. Here's another chance. As it goes again to Kakovich with the puck, now finally again to Kakovich. Collier with the puck. Toward the left wing, saved again by Olmark. Vora trying to squeeze it in, and this one stayed out of here. Oh, that is very tricky. I never saw that one coming. That one really stayed out of here in no time. Kakovich finds again to Vorak. Tries to pull a bound. Vorak finds again a Gollum. Got a shot ring. Rebound. Stayed out. Anderson to Vorak. Shot. Stayed out of the net. Near the crease and he finds Vorak. Tries to push it out. Kakovich again to Gollum. Shot blocked. Vorak trying to stay out of here. The Hobbs are on full pressure. The Bruins will take their position and now McAvoy to DeBrus. Oh, he went down already and Kasovic may be going to do this one to regroup. Well, I don't know if there might be it. They might be regrouping it, but they gotta do something else about it. You know what happens? Because this is not a great option. They need to do something else to try to stick it out of here instead. They have nowhere left to go and they gotta keep on finding it each other. It's not going to be hard. It's not going to be easy enough that they're going to try and like keep moving around. But we can't let that happen if there's another change off. Brown with the puck. Oh, he went tumble down this time as Pashinox has it. One on one fast break. Oh, he went collision and now New Hook with the puck. Now he's looking to do it again as New Hook tries to look over it. Save again. Puts up for Omar. Now finds forward. He now finds Saka. 11.30 left to go in the third period, trying to look for more. Martian! Lost that one to the Prashinox. Went well, blind up and has too many bodies in the way. Here's Nuka, he will have it over onto the Bruins side. Shoots and stop again, it's blocked up. Steen with the puck. Up and they're loose. Allen makes a glove save and this one will catch up with under 11 minutes to go in the third period. Still lots of time left in this period. It's 3-1 Canadians. The Bruins wins it here. That deflection went out. Monahan with the puck. Gives a pass to Yulman. He's on his way down. Tries to move again. Save off by Elmar. Well, that was a great save. And I, I can't really tell how much there is. But this was a too much terrific uh, opportunity made this lineup may be offense, but don't let them get away with this if they know how to do this. 
forward, right now finding Steve. Here's Steve with the puck down fine again, and a shot makes a save by Allen. Mavison with the puck, now lost that one, and it goes right back into the Bruins spot. Forward, has that puck in the Canadians territory. Mitchell fires it way mark, and this one way out. Forward, trying to collect it in, but it went right toward the wall. Mitchell. Forward, again to Van Myers. Back to Mitchell. Find the Steve. Feature shot. Hit off the pad again by Allen. Mavis and Valley for this puck. And it's still going. Dressler. Oh, and he lost that puck. The end of the full pressure is near, and Mavis with the shot. Makes another save for Omar. Eight minutes gone by in the third as we already passed the midway mark of the period. Van Myers up at the slot. So oh, another big save by Allen, and this one keeps it out. Pearson right towards the left. Now finding again to Frederick. Frederick on the right wing, and again, Van Myers shot saved. This one goes up in the netting, and it's going right into the bleachers that I play. I never noticed when this one's going to be a hard one to take. That is a big hit. A clean hit, but not really a monstrous, like a nasty guy. Evans wins the face off. Isaiah with the puck now finds again the Harris. Deep pass to Pazita. Pazita trying to look for Peterson, and that sink puts up by Elmar. Coil with the puck. Around that finds McAvoy. And here's another one in. Now I'll take another loose puck in the chain. McAvoy on his way down. The pass, the Vermeer shot. Saved off quickly. But Zeta find new hook with only 6-10 left. Here's Frederick, he will have that puck in position. Driving right toward the middle. Shoot, saved by Allen. 550 left to remain in the third, and the puck stays out near the net. I can't really tell that this happened, but that was really hard enough that they were trying to keep it out of here. I have a confidence on this one. Nick Suzuki really made this one an all-time better champion to make that one feel on a good slight of the offensive run. This was a hard one, but they are regaining their group, and they've really been dumping it out to try to keep that stale, stay out as they come. We really are doing best uh, right now as for Nick Suzuki with the credit. New York fires it around the net. This one stops as Lindholm gives to Marshan. Marshan right towards the right wing, finds again the Prostodox shot save by Allen. Marshan locked up as Allen takes a save. 439 left to remain in the third period. Still need to get a goal right away. The wing puts up for the Canadians. Kovacevic will have that puck right over again into the middle territory. Carlo takes the puck to steal. Pashinak snaps it now into the neutral zone. Marchand to get the Zaka. Shoots again! Allen makes a save. We're under four minutes remaining in the third period. They're still trying to answer it back with another goal. Now here's another one, and they're ready for the faceoff. Now for the win, here's Grizzlick. That shot's blocked. McAvoy shoots again, and this one stayed out of the net. Kovacevic with the puck. Now finds again. With the puck battling, recovered again by McAvoy. Gets Grizzlick with the puck, now fired by Myers' shot. That went way off the mark. Coyle. Loses in puck position, and right now only three minutes is on its way in the third. Goyle pass to Caulfield. Caulfield tried to look for it, and the shot's been blocked by Greslick. Van Reyes try to give it back to Coyle. Here's Frederick shot, saved by Allen. Coyle with the rebound and finding Frederick. And he lost that one as Melnohan will have that one in possession. 
Here is another one for the Canadians. Yoli with the puck. Yoli out and it stayed out. Olmark with the save with under two minutes. We're near down to the bottom of the third. It's still a 3-1 game for Montreal. Got for the win. Shoot. Shot and went down very hard. Sokowski with the shot. He scores. Two goals in his game. That's number six in his career. Really might say that Sokowski really may be taking three, but it may have been a change out that he have done. You can't just really call that Sokowski really made that slop angle. And this one puts a beat right right across from Omar. That really may be a change up to leave it out of here. That's a great ball. The Canadians are putting up an extension lead 4-1 over the Boston Bruins. They're trying to get out of here, but this one, no can't do. Here's Gresley. He will have that puck fighting motion. Marshall trying to spin around. This one goes down as right now Barron gives it past to Sapkowski. Mavison with the puck now into the center of ISO. Now into the Bruins territory. Give up to the shot and he scores. Mono one really dug it off. That may be one thing. But the key is you know what every player does, they get good at it. They feel comfortable, they think you can do it. Monahan really would never see that one coming. And this one's also a lot of angry frustration here. And this might have been a very tough knock, tough luck to make the day feel better. Canadians on the extension. It is now a 5-1 lead, just down to a minute remaining in third. Monahan wins the face off as Baron will give it over to Van Myers. Here's Mickelson. He will have that one right behind the net. He passed to Logan. The only thing trying to make a move. Grand Pashadash will have it. All alone. Oh, he did not have that. And he's, the, the goaltender denies that shot. Well, he got really good at it. Huh? That's because of Allen. He really got much better at it. What a save. 23 seconds left in the third period. And this one is winding down. And this one puts up another win for the Canadians. Barron with the puck into the left, left wing. That's blocked up. Here's the press. You will have it now. Last possession for the Bruins. And that is it. That turned to be it for everything as the Canadians destroy the Bruins. And that is it. Your final score for tonight is 5-1. They crushed it. The Canadian team got really better at it. And hopefully you're looking to get back in for another road trip game for the Stanley Cup playoffs. And this one turned to be back in 2021 that the Sky and York team made it all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals. Well, we don't want that. And I have nothing else to say. Let me tell you, it's going to be a hard one to try to keep it out. Well, that's it right now with me, Test Tube, along with uh, Boomer and Wood Spoonie. This has been a presentation of the NHL Rival Week on EA Sports. Stick around for more, and this will be the next one underway. Back to you. All right, then. thank you so much. And this one is going to be the end for tonight, as right now three star players of the game are on it. Here we have the first one to take. It's Jesse Yolen, with two, only two assists and four hits in the game. Got great deflection, good turnout. Jagari Sapkowski with two goals, one hit, and six hits. One assist put that down big, and this one really turned it to beat the goaltender. And your first star player, Jake Allen, with 69 saves in the game, and this will be all for everything. Here's how you did with a total statistic run. 70 over 48 for the total shots on goal. 47 over 46 hits for Montreal. 815 over 523 for the Boston Bruins. Then it was 95% of the passing, over 93% for Boston. 21 over 20 for Montreal. Penalty kill was 2 minutes for Montreal, 
and all no power play goal, and the power play minute was two minutes as also for the Boston Bruins. So I guess that turns out everything. There will be a couple more left before the Stanley Cup playoffs arrive just later on the day of April. And if you'd like to see some more videos, be sure to head on down to subscribe to this channel of Son of Beats. You can follow, follow him on his social media, on Instagram, X, and TikTok. Link to the About page. In the meantime, that is it. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NHL Rival Week on EA Sports. We'll see you all again for the next game. Adios, amigos. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.